Hello everybody. This is Vasil from at home. Let's do a few more word problems in uh, using the nth term of an AP. So harder problems, little more harder. Uh, you can't call it harder, a little twisted. Okay. If the third and the ninth term of an AP are 4 and minus 8 respectively, which term of this AP is 0? So to know the term, to know which term, we have to use the n term formula. But before that, we have to find out the first term and the common difference. Okay. So let's do that first. They have given you the third term is 4, right? So you can, the third term I write it as A3 or T3, whatever, is equal to A first term plus N minus 1. N minus 1 is 3 minus 1. It is the third term, right? So 3 minus 1, that is 2D. So I get A plus 2D is equal to 4. That is my first equation, okay? And the second equation says A9, okay? The ninth term. So ninth term would be first term plus 8 times D, right? So that would that is given as minus 8. So I'm just going to solve this. I take it as simultaneous equations and I'm going to solve it. So now I'm going to subtract okay, 2 from 1. So what happens? I'm going to change the sign of the second term. Second uh, statement. Okay. Change sign of all the, sec all the uh, terms in the second statement. Now A minus A will get cancelled and here it is plus 2d and minus 8d so that becomes minus 6d right and here it is uh, 4 plus 8 which is 12 so I get my d as 12 over negative 6 that would be minus 2 so my d is minus 2 substituting d in First equation or the second equation. I am doing it at the first equation. So that would be a plus 2 times minus 2. The d is minus 2, right? Equals 4. So that is a minus 4 equals 4. And so your a is 8. So now you got the first term and the common difference. Let's check which term is 0. So here we don't know which term it is, right? So a n should be 0. Put the formula for a n. It is a plus n minus 1 d, right? We don't know which term it is, right? So I'm just taking it as nth term is equal to 0. Now. Plug in the value of a and n. You got a as 8 plus n we don't know. That's what we're going to find out. So that's n minus 1 and the d is minus 2, negative 2, okay? Equals 0. Now first let me take the 8 to the other side. So I get minus 2 times n minus 1 equals minus 8 there, right? And the 8 goes to the other side. Now divide throughout by minus 2. So you get n minus 1 equals minus 8 divided by minus 2, right? So that's going to give you 4. And so your n would be 4 plus 1, taking the minus sign to the minus 1 to the other side. So you get 5. So you say the fifth term is 0. So you got that answer. Here you have one more on question there. Also find the 21st term. Finding the 21st term is very easy. It is just A21 you are going to find out, right? So A21 will be A plus 20D. If it is 21, you take 20. One less, okay? D. So you know the values of A and D. You can straight away find out. So the A is 8 plus 20 times minus 2. D is negative 2. So that will give you 
8 minus 40, right? So that would be minus 32. So your 21st term would be minus 32. Got it? So you are done with this problem. Let's move on to the next one. Two APs have the same common difference, okay? So the first term might be different, okay? So I just take one uh, term as the first term of the first AP as A1 and the second term, I uh, the first term of the second AP, I take it as T1, okay? They say the difference between their hundredth term so, I just find out the hundredth term of the first AP. That would be like A plus hundredth term, right? So, that would be 99D. Okay? Likewise, what is the next AP? I take it as T, okay? Just to differentiate among them. This I take it as T plus, it is again 99D. D is the same. So, I just take it as 99D. Okay? They say the difference is 100. So, let me find the difference. Okay? Let me subtract that. So, that would be like A plus 99D minus T plus 99D. Okay? Is equal to 100. That's what they say. So, just um, take the negative sign inside. Remove the parentheses. So, it would be a plus 99D minus T, T minus 99D, okay? Equals 100, right? When this negative, negative sign gets inside, the sign of all the term inside will change. Now you get this cancelled. Plus 99D and minus 99D. So now you got A minus T as 100, okay? Let it be here. This is equation 1, right? Okay. Now they say, in that case, what is the difference between their thousands term? So, A thousand will be A plus 999 D, right? One less. Okay. And T thousand will be, here the first term is different, so I am taking it as T. Plus, again it is 9... 9, N minus 1, right? So, that's 999. D is common. So, I take, just take it as this. They, they, they've said you need to find the difference of these two. So, it is A plus 999 D minus T plus 999 D. Okay? So, that will give you A plus 999 D minus t minus 999t okay so this plus 999 and here this gets cancelled so you are left with a minus t and you already know from equation 1 that a minus t is equal to 100 right so even the difference between the thousandth term will be 100 only so, this is the next problem. You need to find how many three digits numbers are divisible by 7. Okay. So, your three digit number starts from 100 and it is still 999, right? So, these, these are the three digit numbers. So, let's see what is the first number divisible by 7 after 100. So, when you just make the calculation you will get it is 105, okay? The first term is 105. Then it is 112. Likewise, it goes. And the last term, it should be less than 999, right? So, the last term should be 994. Which is divisible by 7 would be 994, okay? You have to check. Keep checking uh, 999 divided by 7. If it goes exactly then it's fine otherwise you have to go into 998 likewise you find out this number okay you need to find how many number n what is the n right so the last term you can take it as tn 
So I take Tn is equal to 994. So your Tn formula is A plus N minus 1 D, right? Try to write the formula every time you do so that you won't forget this any up. Okay, here A is your 105 plus N we don't know. That's what we are going to find out. N minus 1. And the D is 7, right? Because it's multiples, it is divisibility of 7. So, it is, the difference would be 7. Is equal to 994. Now, take the 105, the other side. So, that will be 9 minus 1 times 7 is equal to 994 minus 105. So, that would be 994. Take away. 105 so you would be left with 988 8. so next step is n minus 1 will be equal to 889 8, divided by 7 right so that would be 127 so your n would be 127 plus 1, 128 terms. You have 128 terms there. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The sum of fourth and the eighth term is 24. So, we know how to write the fourth term, right? Fourth term will be A plus 3D. And they say sum. So, I'm going to add... The 8th term. 8th term is A plus 7D. Right? These two are equal to 24. That's what they say. So make it, put the like terms together. You get 2A plus 10D equals 24. Okay? So this is equation 1. If you want, you can divide uh, throughout by 2 and make it uh, simplify simplify this okay so that would be like a plus 5d equals 12 so this is equation 1 dividing by 2 okay now what is this next one they've given you the sum of sum of 6th and 10th term is 44 let's make the second term now, second equation now so, 6th term would be A plus 5D plus the sum. So, add the 10th term. 10th term is A plus 9D, right? And they say it is equal to 44. So, that is going to be 2A plus 14D, putting the like terms together, equals 44. Divide throughout again by 2. You get A plus 7D equals 22. This is equation 2. So solve for equation 1 and 2. Okay. So I just do. I am going to take away the second equation from the first one. So I get A plus 5D equals 12. And A plus 7d equals 22 subtraction right so you have to change the sign here so that a will get cancelled and you would get minus 2d equals minus 10 so your d will be equal to 5 okay so you got the common difference but you need to know the first term also right so put the common difference here in the equation 1 or equation 2 whichever you are comfortable with substituting d in first equation so that is equal to a plus 5 times d is what d is 5 again equals 12 a plus 5d equals 12 right so that would be a plus 25 is equal to 12 and so your a would be 12 
minus 25. Okay, so that will be minus 13. Your first term is minus 13 and your common difference is 5. So you can write the first three terms here, right? So the AP will be minus 13. Add 5 to it, you get minus 8. Add 5 to it, it's minus 3. Yeah, that's all. You need just first three terms of the AP. And you're done with it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Go through the questions. It is all twisted. It's not complicated. It is just twisted. Read it properly. Understand. And you just frame the equations properly. You can do this problem very well. Take care. Bye.